So you take a plate of Christmas cookies to your neighbor. You know, the one you haven't interacted with much. And you're feeling nervous, but you've envisioned this brief interaction leading to a lasting friendship. You've pictured being invited inside for a cup of hot cocoa, a stimulating conversation. And then your neighbor answers the door after a long delay, after he's peered at his ring video doorbell and tried to discern who on earth would be knocking as darkness fell in the neighborhood. Well, he eventually arrives, just as you contemplate tapping a third time. He squints as he tries to place the face. And you garble a few words about wanting to spread holiday cheer, and he hesitantly takes the plate of goodies. He offers a quick thanks and closes the door. Then you hear him say to his wife as you walk away, Honey, do we know him? Well, what a perfect time to remember the fourth point from Sunday's message. You see, not everyone will respond to God's love positively. That was certainly true for Jesus himself, and it will be true for us as well. The shepherds were thrilled to hear of the Messiah's coming. King Herod was enraged. He wanted to search for the child to kill him, as it says in Matthew 2, 13. We are reminded by this story that, indeed, not everyone is as thrilled by Jesus as we are, or about the holiday season. And as Darren said, the Bible is not so naive to report that everyone who came in contact with God's love embraced it. Well, that should oddly encourage us because as we seek to share the good news and holiday cheer, we won't have our confidence dented by negative reactions. We won't be surprised by scrooges and gruff responses to our well-meaning initiatives. And after we recover from others not reacting with a lot of positive vibes after our gesture of goodwill, we can choose from three options. We can, one, we can move on to someone else. We can pray more. Oh, we could just try something new. So, are you licking your wounds after sharing part of your testimony at a recent family gathering? Pray about which of the options above you should pursue. See, Jesus wasn't welcomed with open arms by everyone in the days around his birth, and you won't be either. You pray with me. Lord, I understand that not everyone will react positively to you or to me. And thank you for coming to earth, even though your own did not receive you. I will look for people that you are calling and show love to everyone, regardless of their anticipated reactions.